Hi everybody, it's Heather Parrott, Independent Demonstrator in Nova Scotia, Canada. Uh, today is Happy World Card Making Day. So I thought I'd pop on and do a card. I'm going to do a Christmas card. And I'm going to use the Hostess stamp set out of the mini catalog. So if you want this set, you have to host a party and collect the rewards and then you can get this cute little stamp set. I have this one too that I um, that I have and I, I haven't used this one yet either. Um, so I don't know, I think I'm gonna use this one but I have this one close by just in case. So I think what I'm gonna do, um, uh, I wanted to do like the scrappy strip technique, but I wanted to take it a step further and try that mosaic, the mosaic strip technique. Uh, I've seen Kali Bertucci do it, and she's seen it from Linda Driggs. So um, I'm like, oh, that would be that'd be fun to try with some Christmas paper. So I have a couple strips. These are two and a half by five and a half and I also have some this is out of the heartwarming hugs designer series paper out of the mini catalog and then I have pear pizzazz and real red so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna cut a bunch of strips and that will be the first thing um, oh I need a card base too just a second here base pear pizzazz so I'm just gonna put that aside and I'll cut that up later um, I also have a piece of whisper white this is 3.75 inches wide by 5 inches long and this is what I'm gonna glue my strips to okay so then that's that <clears throat> Then I have two pieces of Whisper White. These are four by five and a quarter. And one is gonna be the first layer of my card front. And then this one's gonna be for the inside of the card. So I have that. And I might as well cut my card base while I have my trimmer close by here. And I'm gonna cut this at five and a half. And then I'm going to score it at four and a quarter. And I have that. So that's my card base. So these are all my pieces here. So these I'm going to all cut down. This is my top layer. That's my inside layer. So I'm just gonna put that aside. I'm gonna put that aside and I'm gonna cut all my strips down. And um, it's probably the easiest if I use my little guillotine trimmer. And do I wanna bring my camera down a little bit? closer and there we go so this might get a little loud so I'm just gonna cut some strips and I don't want them too too wide but I'm just gonna angle one way and then the other way and just keep doing that And one, two, three, four. I'm not sure how many strips I'll need, but I'll just do a bunch. And I'll probably have enough left over to make another card. And I think what I'll do is I'll jump on my Facebook 
and do a live from Facebook because I haven't done a live in a while, but I don't have much luck with Facebook lives. So that's why I kind of really don't do those, but we'll see. Maybe I'll, I'll grab my laptop and because I can't see my comments from my phone when I'm filming. And I would really want to be able to interact when I do a live, so. And it's double-sided, so you never know. We might switch it up. We'll see how it goes. I just think this little trimmer is just a little bit faster than the other trimmer, so that, that's the only reason why I'm hauled this one out, but. Okay. So, and I'm just going to do this for all of them and set them aside. I was going to do just cardstock, but then I'm like, no, I think it would be cute to have some patterns. And I like these patterns better than I do the other side. Like, just for this technique, I think the smaller print will work better. So, we'll do that. I love trying new techniques. It's so much fun. So maybe I'll jump on Facebook and if the first live goes well, then maybe I'll I'll do maybe like two more. Cuz it is card making day, you know. And then I thought about um, running this through like an embossing folder, but then I thought, no, because the pieces are going to be so small that, I don't know, I just decided not to. And when you see the finished card, like it looks a lot more complicated than the actual process. So and I'm like, yeah, I'm going to try that. Because I really like the scrappy strip technique and it's the same technique. You just, you're just doing an extra process. My strips. I just need to grab a piece of uh, copy paper. Oh yeah, there was something else I wanted to show you guys too. So my last couple of videos were doing card samples for my card class and I had done a mousse with a bunch of little triangles and afterwards I thought, ooh, that might be a little tedious for a card class. Um, so I actually think I sold that card to one of the ladies that night. So I'll throw up a picture of what that card looked like. And I decided to change the design a little bit to make it easier for the card class. So then this is the one I came up with. So instead of a bunch of little triangles that they had to like glue in piece by piece, um, I took a small label from the Hippo and Friends dies and I just, I designed this one instead because I thought this one would be a little bit easier and not take as long. So I just wanted to pop on and show you that too. <clears throat> but the class went pretty well. Um, I was expecting six six ladies, so I did up 
18 card kits and only three ladies showed up and they ended up only making two cards instead of three so I have a few card kits left over but I can use those for future projects or you know maybe Facebook lives or something so I'll probably end up just doing that but I think it went pretty well like I think they had a good time and I hope that you know they tell their friends and family and I can you know get some people back because I gotta start making money at this if I want to keep doing it like I can't just keep pouring my own money in and not seeing any return but I'm hoping it's hard with the virus too so but we'll see um, so I need my glue and I think I'm gonna have my card going up and down but it doesn't matter how you glue your strips on so I'm going to just follow the straight edge and just start gluing pieces down so I think I'll start with a piece of pattern paper whoops that's a new glue bottle this, this, this is going to be messy but it's fun Okay, so now I'm just going to go right to the edge with this piece. And that's why I like the Tombow, because there's a little bit of wiggle room. So maybe I'll do like a pattern piece, and then I'll come in with a non-pattern piece. And I'm going to leave just a little bit of a gap between my cardstock. And I chose white because I didn't want to do white strips, so I chose to have the Whisper White. And then just keep going until you uh, fill up your paper. I love this heartwarming hugs designer series paper it's so pretty I actually um, I just put an order in last week <laughs> I ended up spending $300 and I didn't even get one stamp set or one die like isn't that crazy but I did get some more of this uh, paper and then I just ordered inks cardstocks ribbon embellishments and Stampin' Up blends because I was tired of doing videos and not having those kind of Stampin' Up! supplies. So that's what I did. And uh, I'll probably jump on and do a unboxing even though it won't be that exciting of a video because I didn't get no stamps. But I'm excited. I ordered uh, like a Wink of Stella. Because I'm like, I think I got enough stamp sets to do me for a while. And I, I really want to use what I have. And I wanted to build up on the stuff that I didn't have. So that's what I did. I don't know. Like I said, I'm new with this. I have no idea what I'm doing. I just like to... I like to craft and I like to make videos and I'm really enjoying myself so if this is your first time watching me I would love to have you follow my channel it's so exciting to get like a notification oh somebody subscribe to your channel it just makes me happy okay so now I want some bread bit more glue because 
what you're going to do is when you get this all filled, you're going to trim these pieces off and then you're going to cut strips the other way and it'll make like a mosaic pattern. And I haven't tried it before. This is my first time doing it, but it looked, it was just like the scrappy strip technique and you just do an extra process of cutting the strips down. So I'm like, ah, I can do that. So what I'll do is I'll fill this piece up and then I'll let it, I'll give it some time to dry and I'll do like my stamping and my sentiment because I want the, this to be dry when I do cut my other strips down because it ends up being like little squares. So I want to make sure it's nice and dry. It's so much fun. And then you might have a little bit of glue peeking out. It dries clear, so it's all good. And I, I'm just lifting it up every now and again because I don't want this to get glued, glued down. I'm sure Facebook will be flooded with lots of new videos today. Facebook and YouTube. I don't know. I've been I, I concentrate on YouTube because I'm trying to get my to grow my channel. And when I do Facebook lives, I don't know, for some reason they never go well. And I don't know why. And I still haven't figured out how to upload a Facebook Live to YouTube because that would save me a lot of grief. But my computer is really old, so I don't know if that has anything to do with it. And I wanted to do this like in the traditional Christmas colors. And like I said, I, I really love this paper. It's so pretty. And I don't have the Mossy Meadows ink and card stock, but I did tack that on my order. So I'm slowly getting there. Um, I'm ashamed to say I haven't ordered any of the new in colors at all but I'm trying to build up just the regular uh, Stampin Up colors because the in colors only last for two years and like I said I only have three customers and I don't want to it's it's really hard I'm finding it really hard I guess I'm afraid that I'm not going to get as much use out of everything and then it's going to retire before and I don't want to be stuck with all this stuff that I can't use in my videos. So. so now I need a piece of red. I know I'm rambling on. I'm sorry. Okay. And that's the last piece. So, I'm just going to put this aside. Oh, I'm gonna move that down just a little bit. But isn't that cool? And my card is going to go up and down, like up and up and down this way, but I have to cut my strips again. That's so cool. I love it. Okay, I'm going to set that aside and let it dry. So now I'm going to take, I have lots of scraps here, and I'm going to use a thick piece of Whisper White, 
and I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna cut out my, so this is from the Hippo and Friends dies. So I have my cuddle bug off to the side. I'm just gonna cut this out. I need my thick, my thicker plate. Okay, so I have that. Oh shoot, I need my, my, my memento ink. still have stuff packed in bins like that I had for my card class because my card class was, class was just a couple nights ago. But, so I'm going to use the stockings from A Merry Hello. I wanted to keep it fairly small because my background is going to be that mosaic tile and I don't I, I want to have a lot of that showing in the background, so I'm not going to do another layer underneath this. So I'm just going to take my memento. And let's make sure I'm still in frame here. And I'm going to stamp it so that my string goes off the die. Isn't that cute? Okay. So now I have, I have real red and I have pear pizzazz. So there's another stamp that goes with this that does some of this stocking. So I think I'm gonna do this in red and my ink pad is really looking. I don't know what happened to it. I don't know what caused it to do that, but it still works. And I might have to stand up for this one so I can get it lined up. Hopefully I got that right. Oh yeah, that looks pretty good. Okay. And I have Pear Pizzazz for the sentiment and I'm gonna use Heartfelt Christmas out of the same set. If I had Mossy Meadows, I probably would use Mossy Meadows, but I probably won't get my order until I don't think they even shipped it yet. I was hoping they would ship it Friday. So I probably won't see it this upcoming week. But like I said, I'll do a I'll do like a little unboxing or whatever when I get it. Okay, so there's that. And like I said, I don't have any Stampin' Up! blends, but I have this one here, which I think is as close as I'm going to get to Pear Pizzazz. And I'm just going to color some of this in the green. And it's such a small stamp that I'm not going to worry too much about like blending or anything. stamp set is so cute. I think I'm going to leave those white. And this one here, I'm only going to color a couple of the squares in the green. I leave some of them white. There. 
and that is that. Okay, so I'm just gonna set that aside. Flip that over. Okay, and I'm gonna bring this back. And it should be okay to trim this off. And I still got lots of scraps here for for another card. So maybe I'll uh, jump on Facebook after I'm done my video and do a live. But if I knew how to do, if I knew how to transfer my YouTube videos, like if I knew how to transfer my lives to Facebook, I could have just done it once and, but I don't know how to do it. So I have to do it twice, which is okay. So now I'm just gonna put this up to the top and trim off these little bits here. And I'm not gonna save these. Okay, so now I'm gonna just trim all the way around. Now, I think for trimming my strips this way, I'm going to use I'm going to use this trimmer here. And oops. Okay, I might have to make two passes, but I'm going to I'm going to lay them to the side and keep them in order. Gonna do two passes. Come on. Okay, so so same thing. I. Th I'm just wondering if I should keep my um, strips strips and not angled. Let me see here. I might be too far gone to. I think we're already started angling them. I think I'm going to have to. Well, let's see here. Just keep them straight. Because you know what? It's my first time doing this, so. Let's see. I love this trimmer. Oh, there goes my scoring blade on the floor. easy is this? Like pretty easy, right? And I'll do one more. Whoops. Okay, so now I got all my strips cut. So do 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 do. do. Now I'm gonna, this is my layer for here. Actually, I think I want another piece, the same size as, yeah. So I want, I need a piece that is 3.75 by five and a five. 3.75 by 5. Okay. 
And the same thing, I'm gonna glue all these on. Okay, let's make sure here. And I want my card, I want my strips going up and down. So. Oh, I should have had my, um, I should have made longer strips. Oh, I might have to go this way. If I go this way, I don't know if I have enough strips. Ooh, that's a learning curve, people. Okay, let's see. So you can move them down. I might put a little bit more of a gap between these. And then you can go down again. And then slowly go back up. Like you'll have to play around with the pattern for sure. But I think I would like my pattern to go down and then back up. So that's why you want to have your strips long enough. So you can go down and then back up. Ooh. I'm just a little bit short. Ooh. That's kind of a bummer. But isn't that cool though? So, you know what? I might have to do it this way and not, not move up or down. But you can learn from my mistakes. So. I just have to, well, I guess I can flip them around. I guess there's no, but if you do it like this, they're all going to be, you know what I mean? They're all going to be the same. I don't know if I want them the same. So I'm going to go that way. And then this way, and then I'm going to change it up. Because I want, I want my gaps the same distance as my other gaps. Okay, so. But yeah, so for next time, I would make my strips longer. And then you could do like a Bargello, you could do like a Chevron. You'd have more, you'd be able to do more patterns with it. This, because my strips aren't longer, I kind of have to, and I don't want to have to, I don't want to have to like, make more strips to do it the way I want. But you'll, you'll get the idea. You can learn from what not to do. Okay, so. I mean, it still looks pretty cool, I think. My main goal was to keep like the gaps the same distance apart. You get the idea, right? I think that looks pretty cool. And then I have one strip left over that I can put on the inside of my card. Okay, so let's get let's get gluing again. So this this video might be a little a little long, but and again I'm gonna go right right to the edge Oop. 
not bad for my first time. But like I said, you will learn from my mistakes. And the more you do it, the better you get at something anyway. But I think I would have liked to have had like a, a chevron pattern. So maybe I'll do up some more longer strips and try that next time. I think that looks pretty cool. Yeah, I like it. It's so much fun. Like, I have lots of people who inspire me, and we all share so we can inspire other people. Yes, yeah, so my strips I cut at two and a half by five and a half. I think I would I would cut them into two and a half by six inch strips. Just to have them a little bit longer. That's way cool. Way cool. What are we at now? Let me see. 37 minutes, yeah. It's a little time consuming. But it is fun. And let's see, maybe I'll take this strip because it's a little bit fatter at this end. And I'll do one of these for the inside. <clears throat> And the nice thing about the Tombow is you got the wiggle room. Okay. And again, I'm gonna set this aside to dry because I do have a little bit of trimming to do. Take my card base. And I'm gonna I'll have to go this way because But how cool is that? I think it's so cool. Okay, so, oops. Oh, now it's a little dried on there, so I'll have to trim that down. So this piece can go on here like this. And like whatever color you you have your gaps, that's what I chose to have as my first color down on my card. 
come on. Get on straight. See, because then when you trim it down and you have it all on, it'll look like just one piece of white on there. Okay, so now I gotta trim this down, I think. I'm gonna use my, oh, we'll see how this goes. Because there's double the cardstock on here, so we'll see. Yeah. It's a little tricky. But I think I get a cleaner, a cleaner cut with the little guillotine trimmer. gonna go on there like that. Isn't that cool? Actually, I gotta trim a little bit of this because that looks better. So now I'm gonna glue this to here like that. And I'm not gonna add like too much more because I want the paper to be my focal point. gorgeous okay so now I'm going to edit this with and I'm just going to put it right in the middle I'm just going to trim this. Love it. Yeah, it's a little messy, but and there we go. There's the card. Isn't that cool? I think that is like it's just scrappy strip technique, and you just flip it and do another slice of cuts and then you have mosaic. That is super cool. Thank you for joining me on card making day everybody. Have a wonderful day. Bye.